we're talking about the potential for every single Social Security recipient to receive a one-time $6,000 direct payment from the IRS in the coming months. $6,000 lumped up into your bank accounts, no strings attached. Now I know that sounds too good to be true, but stick with me here because my inside sources are telling me this is very much being seriously discussed behind closed doors in Washington. We're going to break down all the crucial details on this developing story that could impact over 65 million people. If this C6,000 per person stimulus payment actually gets approved, we're talking about an economic neutron bomb getting dropped in the form of over $400 billion being injected directly into the economy overnight. This would be the biggest mainstream relief effort since those pandemic stimulus checks. So you know, I've got all the intel to keep you in the loop on where things stand and what it could mean for your money. Grab your notepads and get ready to take some notes, because we're going full investigative mode to explore every angle of this potential $6,000 payment for Social Security beneficiaries. The info I'm about to drop is going to blow your mind. So let's run that hustle for the next few minutes. Break down all the key details on this game-changing stimulus update you don't want to miss. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Today, we've got a huge development to cover regarding a proposed one-time $6,000 stimulus payments specifically for Social Security recipients. This is some potentially massive news that could impact millions of Americans, so you'll want to listen up. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into what could be one of the biggest stimulus stories of the year so far. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic caused historic economic disruption across the entire nation over the past few years. In response, the federal government rolled out several rounds of stimulus checks and relief payments aimed at supporting struggling Americans through that immensely challenging period. While the pandemic itself has thankfully subsided significantly, the brutal economic consequences are still being felt by millions today. Rampant inflation has caused the cost of groceries, gas, utilities, and just about everything else to skyrocket over the past year plus. For folks living on a fixed income like Social Security beneficiaries, these rising costs have created an extreme financial hardship. A recent study found that a stunning 40% of elderly Americans had to dip into their modest retirement savings just to pay for basic necessities like food and medicine. This eye-opening data has intensified calls from lawmakers and advocacy groups for additional targeted financial relief specifically for seniors and disabled people depending on their monthly Social Security checks, to survive. And it seems the Internal Revenue Service may have finally gotten the message. According to credible inside reports from multiple high-ranking government sources, the IRS is currently working on a plan to issue a special one-time emergency stimulus payment of $6,000 to all current Social Security beneficiaries. Let me repeat that. We could potentially be looking at $6,000 checks going out very soon to over 65 million retirees and disabled Americans nationwide who receive Social Security income. That is a massive amount of money that could provide crucial relief to so many people struggling with the rising cost of living. While full details are still being ironed out, here's a quick overview of what we know about this proposed $6,000 stimulus payment so far. It would be a one-time non-recurring payment made directly by the IRS. Only current Social Security beneficiaries, retirees, disabled, etc., would be eligible, not other federal assistance recipients. There would be NO income limits or requirements to qualify beyond being a current SS beneficiary. The money is intended to help offset the impacts of inflation and soaring costs on those living on fixed incomes. Sources indicate payments could start being dispersed within the next two three months if approved. Again, this is still just a proposed plan at the moment that would require final authorization to move forward. But the fact that it has reportedly made it this far through the pipeline and has the IRS actively preparing for implementation is extremely promising. If this unprecedented $6,000 direct payment does end up coming to fruition for the 65-plus million Social Security recipients across the country, 
It would arguably represent the largest mainstream relief effort since the pandemic-era stimulus checks of 2020 and 2021. A $6,000 infusion of cash could legitimately be a lifeline for millions of seniors and disabled folks trapped in the vice of inflation and mounting costs for even basic necessities. 4-4. Four, four. For low-income beneficiaries receiving average monthly Social Security payments of $1,600 or less, a $6,000 lump sum amounts to nearly four months' worth of income all at once. That significant financial boost could help them get caught up on past due housing costs, pay off overdue medical or utility bills, restock their pantry, and generally alleviate at least some degree of the financial stress and hardship so many are currently enduring through no fault of their own. With a huge portion of Social Security beneficiaries living virtually paycheck to paycheck, the vast majority of this emergency cash would get spent on food, rent, medical costs, and other basic goods and services. This type of increased consumer spending activity could help bolster struggling sectors like retail, dining, and service industries, while giving the overall economy a timely shot in the arm as well. It's essentially a form of economic stimulus by getting money into the hands of lower and fixed income folks who are more liable to pump it back into the economy quickly versus sitting on it or investing. In short, if everything does come together, this $6,000 direct payment to 65 plus million Social Security recipients could have wide ranging positive impacts that extend far beyond just individual households. It would represent a practical application of targeted financial relief for some of the most economically vulnerable citizens being hit hardest by the current inflationary climate. With that being said, this proposed plan is far from a done deal at this stage. There are still several regulatory hurdles and approval processes it must clear, not to mention the already contentious debate around the costs and merits of such a broad, sweeping stimulus measure. While there appears to be growing bipartisan support for delivering some form of financial relief package aimed specifically at bolstering Social Security beneficiaries dealing with reduced purchasing power, critics of this $6,000 stimulus payment are already voicing concerns. Prominent figures from both sides of the aisle have come out with statements questioning the prudence of indiscriminately sending out checks worth billions of dollars with no means testing to ensure it's targeted toward only low-income households truly in need. They argue that high-earning retirees would unnecessarily receive these funds, undermining the purpose. There are also significant discussions around the plan's overall cost to the federal government, which could exceed $400 billion based on the latest Social Security Administration data. With the national debt already over $31 trillion and inflation remaining stubbornly high, detractors say an expenditure of this magnitude that could exacerbate economic issues must be thoroughly scrutinized. Moving this proposed stimulus package through Congress, as well as debate over potential eligibility requirements or income thresholds, could further delay the process and push back any timeline for the distribution of payments. Still, we must stress once again that all of this is still hypothetical at the moment, based solely on leaked internal reports. The IRS has not officially confirmed or commented on these plans, though credible sources insist the agency is preparing preliminary rollout procedures just in case. If we realistically assume another 60-90 days for stakeholders to arrive at an agreed-upon finalized version, we could potentially see the first tranche of these $6,000 stimulus checks hitting bank accounts of Social Security beneficiaries in late September at the absolute earliest. I know that's a frustrating timeline for those anxiously awaiting this much-needed financial relief, but the government bureaucracy does tend to move slowly. We'll do our best to continue monitoring all the latest developments and provide updates with any breaking news around this story as it progresses. And of course, we'll be sure to analyze the full details and eligibility guidelines once they are officially rolled out. It will be crucial to determine exactly who qualifies to receive the payment and if there are any nuanced stipulations or phase in thresholds implemented. This could have major implications in terms of the ultimate individual and economic impacts this proposed $6,000 stimulus provides. So even if it does move forward, 
the devil will very much be in the details around determining what the full extent and limitations end up being. First off, the sheer dollar amount of $6,000 per person is staggering, especially when you consider it would be going out to over 65 million Americans. We're talking about a stimulus package that could realistically cost the federal government in excess of $400 billion, far eclipsing any of the prior pandemic relief efforts in terms of overall price tag. From a pure economic stimulus perspective, releasing that mammoth sum of $400 plus billion directly into the hands of American consumers all at once would undoubtedly provide a seismic jolt to the economy in the short term. Increased demand from that cash, influx could foreseeably boost job growth, increase revenues for struggling businesses in sectors like retail and hospitality, and generally re-energize the consumer spending that accounts for over two-thirds of U.S. economic activity. However, critics would likely raise concerns about the long-term inflationary impacts of introducing that amount of money into the economy. The Federal Reserve has already been aggressively hiking interest rates in an effort to combat stubbornly high inflation, which remains north of 5% annually. Dumping over $400 billion in fresh stimulus could potentially counteract some of those efforts and even force the Fed to look at larger future rate hikes to offset the effects. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.